Well guys, it's time to talk about the seats. But before we start, I will show you a few dimensions. So, let's start with the uh, M3. Bolstering. As you can see, it's not hard and that's one of the, the issues that I have with this uh, seat. The next important part is uh, the, the height of the bolstering itself. So let's make a check. And the next topic, the angles. Okay, now let's check the fit for my body type, because body type is so important. Okay, let's start with the lower part, the pressure points. I feel them in this area here on both sides. You have a little bit of, let's say, space to move. Also, you can adjust here the length. Here, I can feel the pressure points in the inside. So I do not feel the pressure point here on the outside. Also here. And that's also the main difference. When sitting in the M3, you feel on the lower and on the upper part, you feel the angle. The angle in the M3 feels like that. In the Honda, something like that. Let's check the Honda and you will understand. Let's check, is it soft or is it hard? So the bolstering is a lot, a lot harder in the Honda. As you can see, you have here two extra fingers or three actually extra fingers of bolstering on the lower part. On the upper part, I would say similar. And now what I like about the Type R, the angles. They are a lot steeper. And now the fit. Man, that's a huge difference. Let me close the door. That's really a huge difference, guys. First of all, you simply fit in and you feel no side pressure on the lower or on the upper part. I do not feel pressure on this side here or on this side here. So my ass gets fully in the seat. It's the same here. As you can see, the fit, I'm almost parallel to the seat. Also on, on, on the back side, on the upper back side of the seat, in the M3, you feel, if this is the seat rest, a lot of pressure on this lower part. In the Honda, it's and now the one million question, because I know you guys will ask it if you love bucket seats. Why do I have the normal seats in the M3? Well, 
it's a matter of uh, finance in the end because paying 3800 euros for the carbon bucket seats in the m3 is too much for me i compare it to the honda the honda was 40000 euros new so the bucket seats in the m3 are 10 percent of the value of the honda also this comparison is fair from my point of view because i compare the stock seats in the m3 and the stock seats in the honda 90,000 euros, 40,000 euros, sticker price new. So it's a fair comparison and it, there is no discussion. The Honda wins here with miles ahead.